Hey friends and colleagues and whoever else wants to see this video, it's Crispo Piloto here, making this video mostly for the benefit of my friends and colleagues in the Redding Aero Club. As you can see I'm sitting here in front of our brand new Redbird TD flight simulator and I spent the better part of yesterday and today getting this thing set up and working and getting some bug fixes done and stuff on it. So just want to run you guys through how to start it up, get it going, and there's a few things that I was not able to deal with that I wish I could have dealt with that I'm going to just show you guys how to work through it. And for those of you who know these things better than I do, maybe you can tell me how to fix it so that it works right. So the first thing you do is you walk in the room, at this point anyway, so you duck down below the table and you plug in this cord because we don't have a surge protector on it yet, so that's how it is. Once we get a surge protector, it will probably live right where that power strip is right now, and then you will use that. There's a, there will be a switch somewhere right about there that you will switch to turn things on to get started. Then you walk over here where the tower is behind the main screen. Just push that button. Give her a moment, or three, there it comes. There we are, that's what you'll see. Can you see it? There, now you can see it. Then, keyboard is here to the right of the screen. And you'll grab that, bring it over to where you are sitting. One of the cool optional features that we got for this thing is this thing, you can't see it, I know, I'm sorry, it's a bad elf GPS that plugs in to the Redbird and makes it have a GPS signal for your iPad. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through how to set that up. Go into your settings app, Bluetooth. And you wait for your really slow old iPad to pick up a new device. And it should be there, right? There it is. Bad Elf GPS Pro is what it's called. Just click on that. And now we're connected. Now we will get GPS for our iPad. Super handy thing to have. Now you can use ForeFlight the same as you do in a regular airplane. Pretty cool. So I'll set that down here on my knee and I'll show you all how to launch a flight. So this is the launch page. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can enter in your airport. I'm going to go Reading because that's where we are. Select the Reading, the airport, you can select what runway you're on. I'm going to try launching in the air this time because I've done on the ground every other time. And, you know, it's kind of a cool idea, I think, maybe. So, looks like you can just kind of pick an area. Okay, cool. So I'm five miles out on the 133 radio at a heading of 313. So essentially I'm getting ready to shoot an ILS into 13. I'm at 90 knots, 1800 feet MSL, and I got the visibility very clear. So the middle here is your time of day, and then the right is your weather. And it's pretty straightforward, you can tweak that however you want. You then click Start Flight, and it'll bring this up. So now we're up but you can see we got a problem here. And this is the biggest thing that I wish we could do differently. I'm not sure how to do it. So if one of you is not part of the club and wants to tell me how to fix this, that'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. The only way I know of for now is to hit alternate enter at the same time. Then you can go here and make it big screen and then hit alternate enter again. So now we've got this. It looks pretty much like you're in a regular airplane, right? These knobs all work. And you can program all of this stuff right away. Um, let me turn that on. 
So, I thought I could program the GPS, but it does not appear that way. Let's go ahead and hit pause. The other thing you might have is you might hit a button and it won't work. That's because Windows is not actually running this software. You might just need a tap somewhere on the screen, and that'll get you to be sure that you're in that. F12 pauses the flight. This says P. This keyboard is programmed for it to be F12, so that's another one you should know. Hit F12. Ha! Now we're there. And you can just go ahead and program this in. So let's just go ahead and... Let's, just, let's do a, a GPS, a direct to, okay, GPR, D, G, enter, enter, procedure, Select approach. I just want three vectors. Enter. Enter. There we go. Okay. So now I've got my approach loaded in. Why did I do this in clear weather? And here we are. Now we're flying. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get this thing trimmed out. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the autopilot on. Altitude. See if it works. So there we are, now we're flying. The one thing I need to tell you all yet is this: these heading bugs, if you turn them too fast, for some reason they don't keep up, so you gotta turn them slowly, uh, a few clicks at a time, and then knobs will work just fine if you do that. Other than that, nothing that I've come up with yet, so there's my rundown of the Redbird TD Flight Simulator. Hope you get started.